you brought presidential car for 995 million naira but want nigerians to endure hunger hardship charlie boy slams president tinibu Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got to earn this morning. Well, our headline for this morning says here that you bought a, you bought a presidential car for 995 million naira, but wants Nigerians to endure hardship. Charlie Boy slams President Tinubu. Well, you heard it from me this morning. This veteran singer and activist Charles Oputa, also known as Charlie Boy, has called out President Bola Tinubu over the week. Direct report that President Tinubu, while recently um, de- departing to Marabu, the capital of the t- I- Itukoria Guinea, for three days official visit, rode a sardalic escal worth o- almost a billion naira amidst the country's harsh economy that seen the naira significantly devalued at the cost of living, reaching the new levels. The video sparked mixed reaction amongst Nigerians on social media. Reacting initially boy via his Instagram page on Sunday night, berated President Tinubu for the lavish spending on the cost of governance while urging citizens to endure the hardship. He queried the government for using an armored um, Cadillac in, in, in these difficult times when, pre- when previous president used a Mercedes Benz or a Maybach C Class. And that is all we have for you concerning this headline to this morning, which says here that you bought presidential car for 995 million naira, but you want Nigerians to endure hunger hardship. Shadi Boy slams President Tinbu. Well, we heard from you this morning. Well, this Charlie Boy, this musician, also this this Charles Oputa, also known as Charlie Boy, he is insulting the president of Nigeria because the president of Nigeria, yeah, of recently bought this new ha what 995 million naira seriously seriously that is i don't know why the team would let them they just like luxury over the people yes charles Oputa is right you are telling the people to endure hunger and hardship we are here spending 995 million naira on top on top new car on top new car who is fooling who in this country i don't know why the 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 the, the so-called team administration that just that, that, that they're just misusing Nigerians. Yes. It was a report that says here that Tinubu himself, while recently um, visiting um, depart, departing Malabo in the capital of the Equatorial Guinea for a three day visit, he was riding a Cadillac worth almost a billion naira. New Cadillac that Tinubu bought worth almost one billion naira. He don't even think about the country harsh economy. We don't even think about the naira that has devaluated the high cost of living in Nigeria. No, he got a new Cadillac. It was what was it is what was in his mind. I did the same way, this, the same way that they got a um, private jet one hundred million dollar. Now it has been seized. Just think that 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 company out of good heart they, they just released the, 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 the new one for you, and now you have the the the, the F one trilogy the got. To go get a new Cadillac, what? Let me, let me just say, to, to run it up is one billion naira, and Nigerians are hungry. They have not even eaten for the past seven days. So people have not even eaten for three days straight, four days straight, five days straight. And we say we have presidents. We don't have any president in this country. Let, let, let's not be fooling us. Let, let, let's not be fooling ourselves. This will not be president. This will not be president. Yes, because this is like we don't. Have, we, well, Nigeria has the money. The the Nigeria has the money, and it is this 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 politician that 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 they are the ones spending the, the whole of Nigeria's money. Yes, Nigeria has the money, but this politician that we see here, that the ones spending Nigeria's money, the people are not getting anything. Like seriously, they are giving the people peanuts. They are not taking the bag of rice. That is how things are in Nigeria concerning political power. The corruption in this country is too much that people cannot bear anymore. He bought a new, even when people were warning you that don't buy a new presidential jet, $100 million, uh, we don't need it now. You use, use the money to do this. He bought that one. That one has gone. Now, latest news. He got a new Cadillac, $1 billion. He's not even, he's, he's not even concerned concerning the people. He just wants his logs really. Maybe the next one now. Tin, Tin will buy a private cruise, a yacht, or a ship, a ship. Yes, since he likes luxury. Yes. You may buy a Rolls Royce now. He doesn't care about the people. He just wants his own. His own life to be better. 
driving fancy cars, doing that. That's that what the, the APC administration are known for. It's the same as same as Buhari, same as Buhari. Go down to the comment section that I have here. Arise shine says that hashtag end in Nigeria now for as long for as long as this fraudulent leadership are exerting incomes into multiple digit figures, possessing luxuries and leaving it up on our backs while exerting the rest of us to be patient and make all the sacrifice they are in for petty wood um, stocks ahead as the instant insistent took ache of hunger spread across the land yes brafia yes yoba nation only nigeria solution as well that's what people are saying that's the only nigeria solution if if you just split and everybody go that way because you cannot be working, make, make, make one man just the car, car your, your money, the buy a car, you buy a private jet for him and his family. Yes, it's true. Huh? The people are the ones doing the development, and one person is taking the money, buying cars and buying private jets. Who is fooling who in this country? I don't understand why Nigeria is so fucked up. I don't understand why this country is, is filled with corruption. It has been there over the years. Now it has grown worse. I don't just understand this country anymore. Well, what can we say? Since our president is a man of luxury, what can we say? Drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Tap the subscribe button as a big red one with the notification bell. So anytime I have a new video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.